this is the hilsa fish and today i will show you how to descale and clean the hilsa fish and prepare it for cooking this fish is around 1.4 kgs and i bought it from uh, an asian supermarket uh, i bought it frozen and i don't have the luxury of a local fishmonger who can clean and gut it for me as they do in bengal so i have to do the task myself it might be a messy task but it is not really very difficult and with the right tools and know-how even you can do it quite easily you need a fish scaler for it this is the fish scaler as you can see you can pick it up uh, from a local market any specialty shop or online this is the fish and now i am just rubbing the skin of the fish with the scaler as you can see gently i'm doing it gently uh, you should uh, use the scaler in circles and gen gently scrape off the scales as you can see it's coming off quite nicely and just uh, run the scaler all along the fish and you will find that the scales come off quite easily i was holding the fish up for you to see but it is much better if you put it down and try to get the scales off the scales near the tail are a bit difficult to get off this is how i do it this is how i scale the uh, bits of the scales which are near the tail of the fish be firm but be gentle you don't want to take the skin of the fish off these are the hard to reach bits where uh, where the scales are a bit difficult to get off but make sure you run the scaler along them and get as much of the scales out as possible it's much better to do this job with a scaler than a knife with a knife often uh, i have found that the skin is damaged run the fish under water now run your hands along the fish to check if there are any scales remaining they should come off with uh, your fingers this side looks nice and clean and descaled now for the other side run your fingers along the fish and you should see if there are any scales that have been missed take them off this fish is now descaled now it's time to trim uh, the tail of the fish with scissors it's very very easy uh, with scissors to trim off the fins of the fish I take all the fins off because it makes it easier for me to cut the fish later on. And the fins of the hilsa are very easy to cut. They are not like some of the other fishes like uh, ruby or katla which is uh, which is which uh, where the fins are difficult to get off. There we go, nearly done with the fins. This is the last one. The silsa fish is now ready to be cut into pieces. Take a knife, a sharp one, and slice the fish like I'm doing here. It is up to you 
what size uh, pieces you want to cook. This is another slice. Again, you can see it gets very bloody and messy, but it isn't really a difficult job. Now I have sliced the entire fish into steaks as well as the head and it's time to give them a good wash to get rid of all the blood. As you can see the fish is full of eggs as well as what is in Bengali called the tail and some people uh, keep the eggs and the tail inside. They don't throw it out. The, the, these are the eggs of the fish and I am taking some out because I want to fry them and eat them. And this is the tail. I don't know what it can be called uh, in English to be honest. And I am leaving some of it in and some I am taking out. So I have taken out uh, a tail from this one and I am going to bin it. But uh, for the head I am leaving the tail in. Now this uh, is one Hilsa which is now prepared and ready to go for different recipes.